maybe the biggest burning question uh, going forward for the Calgary Flames, Eric, and it is about two players. Johnny Gaudreau, David Riddick, are their days numbered here in Calgary? Absolutely there. Both, in both cases, in my Let's opinion. start with Johnny. Johnny, we'll start with Johnny Gaudreau. He's got two years left on his contract, and I don't believe he's going to re-sign in Calgary. I think he's an East Coast guy who wants to you know, continue his career down there. He protested that theory at the end of the season, but I think that was a bit of a PR move uh, by Johnny Gaudreau. At the end of the day, you've got to get something for that asset. I don't believe he can be effective in the playoffs as a small player playing on the perimeter. He's proven that three of the last four years when he's been basically invisible, five on five. And so I think you've got to get something for that asset. You can't let what happened to him be what happened to Jerome McGinley years ago where you got nothing for the organization in exchange for your superstar. So the GM should be listening to uh, anyone who's inquiring about the services of Johnny Gaudreau. I know he's heard from some around the league, but Johnny Gaudreau's stock right now is very low because of the playoff he just had. Seven points, 10 games, but as you mentioned, some of those were, most of those were five on five points. Uh, you did see flashes of what you know he could be. It was 99 points uh, a year ago, a season ago. But you start to wonder how long, given where he is in his contract, given the East Coast type, uh, well, where he's from, obviously, and the fact that it might be a player who can help you get you something that you need. I know culturally, this is something that the Flames are bent on. The term I keep using with Johnny Gaudreau is passenger. And, and, and I, he's well-liked in the room. He's not a detriment to the team at all. But I'm just thinking, when it comes to the playoffs, he's not a leader. He's a passenger. And I think they, they're always looking for more leaders. And ever since they got rid of James Neal, there's been a marked, you know, focused by the Flames organization to acquire players with character. Milan Lucic, uh, Nordstrom the other day. Uh, you, you've got all sorts of players that they bring in because of the people they are, the leaders they are, and the, the intangibles they bring outside of just the, on the ice. Do you worry about how this might affect the productivity of Sean Monaghan? If, indeed, Gaudreau were to move on. Oh, there are a lot of people in Calgary have that theory that yeah. if you take Johnny Gaudreau away from Sean Monaghan, Monaghan goes from a perennial 30-goal score to maybe a a 20 goal score. I don't necessarily buy because I think you, you would hope that whoever you bring in for Johnny Gaudreau, and you're not going to be able to replace Gaudreau. It's never going to be, we'll send you a 99 point player and we'll get back a 99 point player. First of all, they don't grow on trees. Second of all, they don't become available very often. You're looking for more of the intangibles in this sort of deal. It's a tough one for a GM to make because on paper, everyone's going to say, you lost that deal. Can he reach 99 points again? This is a pretty good team. I, I was going to say no, but this is a pretty good team, and it's got depth. And, I, you know, I, I think this team is ready to start contending, and I think that that would mean that potentially during the season he could get near the 99-point plateau. But, again, he's a guy who can do really well to get you into the playoffs, but once you're there, he can't help you. And if you think he is moving, when? Well, I don't think it's going to be in this offseason because of his stock being so low. You, the Flames are going to hope that he has a really good season this year. And uh, I think they would consider trading him at the trade deadline, which sounds crazy, especially if your team is really making a good push for the playoffs and looking well to, to threaten in the playoffs. But at the very least, I think the, the longest we would see Johnny Gaudreau here is up until next offseason. By then, I think he's gone. You say his days in Calgary are numbered. You also said David Riddick's days in Calgary may be numbered. I had a chance to chat with him uh, just recently yeah. about... Uh, Life in the bubble up in Edmonton, he was very disappointed in himself, felt as though he let his teammates down, felt he had something to prove, but also felt he and Markstrom could be a number one tandem. They were both all-stars, but with Markstrom here, does it mean he's necessarily on his way out? Yeah, to me it does, because for the next six years, your starter is set in stone. David Riddick's an unrestricted free agent next summer, and he's not going to want to be a, a perennial backup. If he has a good year this year, he's undoubtedly gone next off season to the highest bidder or to a team that's going to give him a shot at being a starter or at least a 1A, 1B. Uh, if he has a poor season this year, well, uh, we'll have to see what that means for him in his future. But he'll, he'll still go out as an unrestricted free agent and look and see what his options but are. But haven't we seen the importance of having two? You could look at Dallas for sure. There's a great example. And you can look up and down the line. There's not a lot of help coming in the system should something not go Markstrom's way. When I say his days are numbered, I mean like after this season. There's no chance they're moving David Riddick anytime soon. They need him this year to be a star player. You know, they, they can't afford to get rid of him. You're right, the depth in the organization is not there just yet mm -hmm. at the goaltending position. So it's a crucial year for David Riddick. He's got some reparations to make. He had a poor uh, return to play after the, uh, after the layoff. 
He had a horrific one period in the playoffs. He's also got issues where, you know, his maturity is being questioned. He's too emotional as a goalie. A lot of things he needs to address. I'll be fascinated to see what yeah. type of person and player we see next year when David Riddick comes back. Two All-Stars who could be on the move. Thanks for this.